Right then guys, that's the install done on the rear strut brace. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, there it is, installed and looking awesome. If you just joined me and you're wondering what's going on, you've missed it. Oh wait, hang on a minute. Oh, hello everyone, welcome to the install video. Oh, what's going on there? I'm joking, I'm just seeing what it looks like. It looks very, very cool on there. Just seeing where it's going to go, it's going to go there like that. So yes, it's the install video day today on the rear strut brace. And you're getting a sneak glimpse at the grill that I've got here as well. I can't show you that just yet, what I'm doing with that. So that's going to come out. So um, yeah guys, this is the install video on the rear strut brace. So I'm just going to... You know, let the video run today and do its thing. Um, so what I need to do is remove the plastic trim here and remove all the carpet and the boot, both sides. So I need to get underneath the carpet and see where the, the holes are lining up for the box to go in. So it does come with hardware. You haven't seen the unboxing video yet, it should be linked up here. So I'm going to use my electric screwdriver, but before I do all that I'm going to remove all the carpet and I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alright then, so I've got one side off, I thought I'd just check quickly, and I'm going to show you how I'll do it on this side. But before I get into that guys, remember if you're new to the channel you can subscribe down here, don't forget you can give it a thumbs up as well, that really does help. Don't forget the STRS Legends merchandise, hoodies, tanks, top sheet, t-shirts, all that awesome stuff, including the AJ Focus key tags. And stickers and the ST Legends, if I can get to it, window stickers, but not only are they for windows, they're for the bodywork or anywhere else you want to put on your car, like in the engine bay, like I've done with mine. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe, you can like, you can follow me on Instagram and on the Facebook and the Facebook group page, which is AJ Focus ST RS Legends. So all the content that I do, picture wise, gets uploaded to Instagram. Facebook and all that good social media stuff. Whew, right, now we've got that out of the way. <laughs> so let's get into today's video then. So like I said, this is a strut brace rear install. Okay, so you're gonna remove the screw on there. There's a little Torx piece. I think it's like a T10, T5, and there's one there as well. And you just give it a good tug. It's got little clips in there. Pull it out. But on this side, you do have a light. And you just twist it, it comes out. And just remove the plastic trim. Mine comes out nice and easy because I've always removed it and I've got rid of certain bits in there to keep it keep the weight down so my bits come off quite easy. If yours is still fully interiored, it might take a little bit longer. But with mine, like I said, I've stripped most of my stuff out, so... Yeah, it's just simple as moving your carpet, like that. Right, and that is it guys, that is all you're going to do. We need to get to these two bits here. But I've just been looking, and I do and I do remember as well, I've seen it last time, that these nuts on here are actually welded to the car. So I think you have to get for it from underneath. Before I do that, I'm just going to see how much of the thread actually pokes through the top of the um, strut brace. I might be able to just get a nut on there and thread it on. So I'll get the strut brace. Let's see. Okay, so it goes. I thought it went. I thought it went that way. You see, because then the nuts go in there. Obviously not. Sits in that way. Must be certain, yeah. So yeah, there's a certain way it sits in it. Yeah, it's a certain way because let's try to show you. Because on this side, as you can, let's just put it on that side for now. I'll show you. Put it on there like that. I'm going to go to put it on this side, it doesn't line up, so it must be sort of like at an angle on either side. 
from the sink, so you need to twist it for them to sit in, like so. And again on this side, it sits in nice and perfect. But yeah, I'm going to have to go from underneath the car. There's the hardware gone. So I think the, the studs um, are being replaced with the new hardware they gave you. Slightly longer. Okay, I'm gonna have a look under the car. So it's up there somewhere, guys. I'm gonna to to take the rear wheel off, I think. Move all this under guard stuff. So it's gonna take longer than I thought. I thought it would have just been bolt on and done. But nope, it's uh, gonna take longer than I thought. So I'll be right back. I'm just gonna have a quick look. I'll take the wheel off and have a look on this side and I'll get onto the other side and I'll show you how I do it um, once I've figured out how to get up there. See you guys in just a sec. Oh my gosh guys, it's going nice and smoothly. I can't believe how easy this install is actually being. And it's not, the car is not fighting back for once. Going smoothly. So, this side is done. I've just put it all back together. Um, so I needed to know how I was going to do it on this side. So now I've got a rough idea how to do it on this side. It's very straightforward. If you have no mechanical knowledge at all, doesn't matter. You can do this at home yourself, guys. So now you can see the studs on this side are much, much longer than they are on that side. So that's the standard Ford side. This is the uh, longer studs. So now this will sit in there. He says. Nicely. With enough poke coming through. Look at that side. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Alright, so let's run through tools you're gonna to need to do. Okay, um, so yeah, you're going to need to jack up the back of your car, going to need to remove your wheel. I've got my new locker wheel nut key now guys, I ordered it from Fords, it came two weeks ago now, and it's the first time using it. Yeah, brand new. And it's the right one as well, because this car came with two codes, I don't know why. But yeah, you're going to need your locker wheel nut key, obviously. Take your wheel off, jack your car up. The tools you're going to need, you're going to need their fitting hardware, along with the washer. And I'm going to use another washer on inside the car as well because I don't know if they go underneath the car or inside the car But I'm using them from under the car in a minute. I'll show you Maybe some Loctite as well because the standard Ford ones These bolts when you undo them under there the standard Ford and Ford ones have Loctite on it You can see the blue thread. So I'm just going to put a bit of that on there. Just to stop them from falling out um, Yeah, you're going to need to move your wheel so you're going to need your torque wrench your rattle gun and then the bolts, the standard Ford bolts underneath are a 10mm size. Most of the Ford bolts on this car are 10mm. So 10mm with two long extensions to get up under there. A small ratchet if you've got one. I've then got a bigger, chunkier ratchet of mine because I don't have a, actually have a 14mm socket in my smaller ratchet. So you're going to need a 40mm, as you can see because these are now 40mm, not the 10mm nuts that are on the end of the Ford ones. And then a few more extensions as well for that. And maybe some WD-40, because you never know. So that is it guys. Um, very basic tools. You don't need any mechanical knowledge whatsoever. You guys can do this, it's very easy. And I will now show you how I did on the other side. So let me just quickly remove the wheel and jack the car up and I'll see you guys in just a sec. So after you remove your wheel, you're going to need your little ratchet, two extensions and a 10mm socket. Come under the wheel arch, up you come, you see that bolt there, that's pretty shiny, WD-40's been sprayed on it. And the other bolt on that side, literally on the top of the strut tower. Um, undo one bolt at a time, because that, if, you do, if you undo them both, then the strut will slowly come down if you do one at a time and then put the, the new bolt in it would that new bolt will hold that into place while you undo 
the, the standard Ford one, if you get what I mean. I will show you anyway. I've already undone that bolt. So I'm just gonna try and lay the camera here so you guys can sort of see where I'm going. the uh, standard forward one. Let's compare. See, much longer is what you need. The next thing I'm going to do guys is put some thread lock on it. You know, just go around the thread with it. Alright, after that. So then you can put on your washer and then you can slowly try and feed it back up through the hole of the car. I think putting the washer on this side is actually better because then it stops any water, moisture, or whatever getting up through the hole into the thread. And the thread lock helps because you don't really want that bolt to come undone because it's going to be under a lot of tension with the strut brace. So yeah, just get it up and there like that and then get your other my ratchet, this one here, which has got the 14 millimeter. I'm just going to use my hand for a second just to get the thread started because I never like to uh, use the ratchet right away I have to sort of make sure it bites so I can sort of feel it if it's not if it's cross threading or not which it isn't which is good the last thing you want to do guys is cross thread it so I'm going to pause it here again guys while I nip this up alright then guys that's both of them nipped up now I'll just uh, make sure they're nice and tight as you can see two new shiny bolts are now in so that's underneath the car done like I said it is anally e easy to do guys you guys <clears throat> can easily do this at home if you have no mechanical knowledge whatsoever so now we're going to move on to inside the car and fit the strap brace make sure it all lines up nicely and then I need to cut the carpet obviously because I don't want the carpet to still stay in the car uh, or if you're going for the stripped out look you can leave the carpet out but I'm keeping the carpet in so I still want it to be nice and sort of civil in there I guess so yeah stay tuned all right then guys that's the wheel back on now we're going to work inside the car so um, I've got my nuts that are going to go on top spider on me yeesh I hate spiders <laughs> right so then uh, let's do a quick test fit make sure it all lines up nicely first and then, um, then we can get to the cutting figure out where I need to cut the car if only a bit looks slit in it and slide it through. sit inside and that's how welded to the actual chassis of the car I need to sit inside that so yeah guys I'm happy with how that's sitting so now I'm gonna put the carpet in and then make some slits so now I can slide it in and then fit it which is gonna be fun I'm just gonna lay over some music
guys. Nicely installed, carpet it back in, trims all back in. I must say that looks amazing. So yeah, that's the rear strut brace installed on the Focus ST. And yeah, I am dead chuffed with this. I can't wait to go outside now in the minute and see what it's like handling wise now because it should make some sort of difference um, I'll probably give it a wipe down so my fingerprints are over it but I must say it looks so nice I wanted to keep it as um, like I said as friendly as possible inside the car and I think I've done that remember guys if you're new to the channel you can subscribe down here if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget the merchandise guys is on the Facebook page and you can get through to me on Instagram so um yeah i can make more awesome videos like this for you guys Whew, right that's me done and i'm just about to fiddle around with the headlights now because i think those disco lights that i put in are in the way of my xenons because when i was driving the other night i could not see outside the driver's side so i need to relocate them but yeah i'm gonna fiddle around with that now and um i'm gonna leave this here though that's the uh, rear strut brace now installed and it looks awesome Thanks guys for watching, I will catch you on my next video. I like that, that's very nice. Give it a thumbs up.